What is the inspiration that Ray Dunn is trying to tell us? We all need to know. But we can't. We can't feel the sticker. All right. Well, we are here today at the Monocacy Boulevard Goodwill. I'm about to head in here and see what I can find. Buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. That's kind of cute. Four forty-nine on that. I also like that one. Mm. There we go. Those look, oh, those are Yankee candles. I was gonna say those look mass produced, and they are. All right, I'm gonna scoot back just a smidge. And we're gonna circle the corner and head down the figurines. Ooh. Rainbow glass with the original sticker. That's kind of neat. Look at that sticker. Maybe if it focuses for you. That is so cute. It's a little owl. I feel like the rest are supposed to be owls too, but they just kind of turned into like blobs. <laughs> Only one actually looks like an owl, so I'm going to take that one. All the rest can stay. We're going to stick that in the cart. Um, what do we have here? Is this another? Same thing? Same artist? $249? Alright. Must be they donated their stuff to Goodwill. Let's look down here. Um, not much happening down here. Except for this. What is this? Some pretty purple irises maybe? Covered dish. All right, so I'll take it. Ooh, look at that red. Look at the flash on that. You can see where all the flash is coming off. I think that sounds like a fresh cart. Ooh, it is a fresh cart. All right. It's toys, glasses. And there's another one. Don't really see anything exciting on there though. I don't know what plate on the bottom looks cute. How cute is that? Gates Fair. Hmm. I don't know how much that would be worth, but I really do love the bunny and the pinks on that. Gonna take a peek in the other ones. Oh look, there's a hall picture in the back. Hall, hall. Six forty-nine. I don't know. It doesn't really excite me. I see a lot of it. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. All right. That looks interesting down there. Let's see what that is. Ooh, that's a fun fish plate. Look at the colors on that. Weekend, East Hampton. Sounds fancy. I think I'm gonna set it back though. A few pictures, two pots. I do like the look of this canister. I feel like I've looked at something similar in the past. Knott's Berry Farm Foods. Ooh, there's a tumble up. That's the Tiffany and Company version. Sweets. Five dollars and forty-nine cents. Tiffany and Company. Can you see it there? I don't know if you guys remember when I found the tumble up at the Goodwill in uh, Florida. I told you guys that the Tiffany ones were usually marked. It, they're very similar in style, but um, this one does have the Tiffany marking on there. So, and um, it also has the cup and top. So. Definitely take Tiffany for five dollars and forty-nine cents. All right, I'm circling around. I'm just going to get a quick peek at the lamps, but really, I want to get to the baggies. I feel like there might be potential here today. We're going to give it our best shot. There's a pretty candle in there. Some pine cones. In case you don't have any in your yard, you can come to Goodwill and find some. Leprechauns. 
Lots of pine cones. Well, I know where to go if I ever need some. My trees ever stop producing pine cones. I'm going to Goodwill. All right, nothing in the baggies for us today. Um, I think the vases is really the only space we have left to check out. Okay, so this space was kind of blocked off when I walked in. So I didn't get a chance to look here, but I don't really see anything exciting. Kind of like the looks of that vase, but it's stuffed with foam, which is annoying. And it's super weighted. Somebody filled that with kitty litter or something. <laughs> Not something I want to mess with. Uh, here's another. That's the same one. I love you. We missed this one. We grabbed all the others and we missed this one. Same marking. ML. I don't know what these are. I don't know if these are little planters or what they are. Um, I do see a mug down here that looks fun. Look at this. Same artist, ML. And these are also ML. Maybe. Yep, same artist. Let's get those. Oh my goodness. Grabbing up all your mugs. More on the back of the shelf here. I'm just gonna grab those. You guys have been asking for mugs, and I'm gonna deliver. I don't know who ML is, but we've got their mugs. I think that's the last one. I'm gonna just double check. There's some pretty colors there, though. We have purple, blue, and then these green, earthy colors. That one's kind of neat. I'll grab it. I'm just looking at the bottoms to see. This one does have a studio pottery base. It's very heavy and chunky though, and it's a different... Oh, well, it is ML. Maybe it's a planter. I think it's a small planter. All right, I'm going to do... This aisle one more time. I do like the design on that. And then I'm probably going to take off from here and go to the next Goodwill. I've got two more today. I like this. What is this? Is that a lid? Or is that an underplate? I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. All right, so that was a pretty good trip there to the Monocacy Boulevard Goodwill. I bought like 7 million mugs. Great news is I could probably sell those mugs for about 18 to 24 dollars a piece, and I've only got a few dollars into them, so that's wonderful. They're good, they're sturdy, they have a nice glaze on them, um, so I'm pretty thrilled with that. I'll probably get those listed up on knickknacks as buy it now. I get asked a lot for mugs, and I like to have mugs in the buy it now when I do my coffee chats on Tuesday mornings. So it works out perfectly. Anyway, uh, I've moved on now to the next Goodwill. Um, so let's head in and see what we can find. Here we go. All right, well, I skipped this Goodwill the last time I was here in Maryland. Today, we're gonna give it a try. I'm not gonna do it. I just filled up on art pottery at the last stop. Don't need any more. <laughs> Here's a cute little trinket box. He is kind of cute, I don't know. These are adorable too, little resin cats. A whole collection of resin cats. Goodness, there's a lot happening here. Hey, there's another one of those candle holders. I had one in purple not that long ago, but um, this one actually has the top broken off. The one that I had, it was uh, glued back on. Look at this owl back here, <laughs> it's so good. I think this is one of the ones that you stick outside to like scare away the birds, maybe? Or like in a window? I don't know, he's really good. He's $5.49. I feel like that's mascot worthy. I also feel like I don't need him. I'm gonna leave him behind. He can go home with someone else. Um, all right, I just don't expect to find much here today. I haven't had the greatest luck here recently. 
That's why I skipped it the last time because I was like, I don't know if I want to go there. <laughs> it's so bad to say, but it's true. This is kind of neat. What is this? I love the colors on that. You know, this kind of reminds me of um, Clarice Cliff. I know that's not the case, but that's what the design reminds me of. So I am going to grab that. There's a whole set of opalescent bowls with flowers on them. Those are really pretty, aren't they? We don't need them, but they're really pretty. They're worth looking at. Let's go this way. Uh, we have all our planters and vases. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Where is that made? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. It has a giant crack. I love this little weirdo. He's missing an eyeball, though. I'm not gonna mess with him. This little thing is kind of cute. On a mouse and a slipper. Weiss, hand painted, made in Brazil. He's got a little nose chip on him. All right, let's cross over here and see what we can find. There's a little radon gnome. Ooh, speaking of Clary's Cliff, this also reminds me of that. It's not. <laughs> that, those Art Deco designs. Um, there is a chip on the spout. That's kind of funny to see here because I definitely remember looking at, um, looking at that over at the Monocacy Boulevard Goodwill. And now we're definitely um, at the... Uh, <laughs> We're over at Walker's Fell, so it's funny to see how stuff circulates through this region. We've got more Ray Dunn back there. I always look to see if there's the big M on the bottom, because I know sometimes the big M stuff can have value. Contemporary stuff you're not going to have much luck with. Those are pretty plates. They're really chipped up, though. They are made in Italy. Of course they are. I really like them. And you have a portrait plate, maybe Austria, I'm not sure, it definitely has a crack on it. Ooh, there's a bumblebee. Um, a redone, oh my goodness. You know, this one underneath it is actually super cute. It's a gulp, and it's a goldfish. <laughs> redone collection by Magenta, I like that one. just don't see those being worth much. It's a shame, because those ones are cute. And I've had the canisters before, the bumblebee. Those sold well for me. Made in Japan. Oh, it's a little perfume thing. That's not super exciting. I don't know, I figured I'd browse through the baggies, but I don't see a whole lot. I did sneak this into the cart when no one was looking, and yes, it is Ray Dunn. But there's no, oh, unless it's, oh, it's under. I'm like, why does this not have the typical radon words on it? But they put the sticker over the word, and now I really want to know what the word is. What is the inspiration that radon is trying to tell us? We all need to know. But we can't. We can't feel the sticker. <laughs> I just liked it because it didn't have the word on it, and now I know it does have a word mystery word. I'm gonna put it back. All right, I'm gonna put it back. It was probably only worth like 12 to 18 anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, I'm gonna grab my little weirdo thing down in there that I'm not even really quite sure what it is. It might hold letters or napkins or something. I'm not really quite sure, but I like it. Could be a paperweight. Put down some paper. Um, and we're gonna go to the next Goodwill. This one was kind of a bust. What is this? Kind of looks like stangle, but it's um, metal. There's some cake. <laughs> I've noticed a lot of redone showing up in the Goodwills these days. Um, okay, yep, I'm gonna set this back where I found it. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys at the next Goodwill. Ah, handcrafted Japan. That wanted it to be uh, Polish pottery, but it's not. Okay, well our total spend there at Walkersville was three dollars <laughs> but it was actually very exciting when i got to the car i peeled off the goodwill sticker and sure enough it is marked on the bottom i don't know if you guys can see it it's marked Bo melander i know that because i sent a photo to peter i couldn't i could not make it out i was looking at it i was trying all sorts of uh, various letters and then finally i was like peter look what i found and he's like oh Bo melander i'm like exactly 
it's a paperweight just like I suspected um, and it's actually it's so cool it's so cool I'm so thrilled with this uh, now that I know what it is and it is made in Denmark so um, that's a great find that's a wonderful find if I was to only find one thing at the Goodwill I'd be I'm, I'm happy with this so anyway um, I've moved on now I'm now at the Thurmont Goodwill and we're about to head in and see what we can find here to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Those are cute shakers. Fortunately, he's broken. That's not fun. All right. Okay, pretty dish. Ooh, look at all these little dishes in the back. Little soy sauce dishes. They kind of look like they've got like they're vintage at least. <laughs> they are cute. Fifty-seven. I wonder if they were fifty. Heinz fifty-seven. No, maybe fifty-seven cents. I'm not sure. I'm gonna leave them though. Oh, I see some carnival glass. Oh, it's got a giant. Nope, it's got two giant chips on it. <laughs> Six forty or six. Our um. Our theme this week on Knickknacks is Welcome to the Carnival. So we have a lot of carnival glass featured on the homepage of Knickknacks. That's kind of fun. Uh, the carnival glass, the reason it's called a carnival glass is because it was actually given out as carnival prizes, which is really fun. So, we definitely have no shortage of carnival glass on Knickknacks. All right. Obviously, I'm going to leave that behind. We also have this, but I don't know. That doesn't really excite me. It's 849. I don't know. The marigold for me is just kind of blah. <laughs> this is blah. There's Jim Shore in the box. This globe. This globe, what? What about it? Now I need to know. <laughs> this globe. Here's this globe. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to be personalized. It's Moonlight Waltz. I look that one up. Um, that's kind of exciting. In the box, even. Oh my gosh. Um, the other piece is this. This is also Jim Shore. This is um, Heaven's Tiny Treasures. I don't know. I just I could usually pick these up for just a few bucks. They sell for about this new. Um, not new, but um, that's what I can get for them on eBay. So I don't know if I want to pay that. Lasting impressions. Ooh, there's a doll in that box. So here is one that sold for 35. That's a sold price, and that was at auction. And um, so somebody put it to auction for 35, um, and it sold. I don't know if it was to be listed as a buy it now. If it would maybe sell for more. Um, so for that reason, I think I'm gonna grab it. How much was it? I don't remember what it said. $14.49. All right, so we can maybe double our money on that. Uh, is that the lid to a fairy light? Yes, but it has damage, so we're going to leave it. Did we look at this the last time? I feel like we did. <laughs> we did. Let's <laughs> take <Stay covered. laughs> And then this here. It's a shame that we've only got one saucer. Maybe the uh, cup is creeping around here somewhere. I don't see anything though. Oh, there it is. Look. Selb Germany Plaza. And there's the matchy match. That is adorable. I don't usually pick up cups and saucers, but I'm going to grab this one. I like it. Alright, I think that's it for me. I didn't find a whole lot, but it's later than I normally get here by like two hours. Um, so I don't think they're restocking anymore tonight. And uh, we kind of got the leftovers, but I'm not mad at this. Probably double our money on this and make a few bucks on that. So I'm going to get out of here and I'll get back to you guys in the car with a wrap up. All right. Well, our total spend here today was $17 and some change. Um, I feel like our best buy of the day is a tie between the Tiffany and Company Tumble Up and the paperweight from Denmark. Um, I think my favorite find was the paperweight, but the Tiffany tumble up was probably worth the most money. Um, 
It was a good day of thrifting. It was a long day of thrifting, though. I'm ready to go home. It is, ooh, so stuff is shifting. Um, it is 6 o'clock. It's going to take me an hour to get home. Um, but I guess I will see all you guys tomorrow. So.